Hello students, uh, good morning. I am uh, Silva Kumar from uh, Department of Mechanical Engineering. I myself and uh, Samuel sir will be giving you a demonstration on AutoCAD, which is a part of uh, your engineering graphics course. This demonstration is divided into two parts and the first part will be on uh, 2D drafting and the second part will be on uh, 3D modeling which will be covered by uh, Samuel sir. Now I will give you uh, a brief demonstration on uh, 2D drafting. Let's get started. Yes, now uh, this is what uh, I will be giving you a demonstration and if you closely follow my instructions I'm, I'm sure that you can all uh, make a drawing similar to this or, or any other drawing which has these kind of uh, features. These steps are uh, very simple and uh, uh, in case if you have access to a laptop uh, you can definitely download this uh, software it is available for free for students can download it and you can uh, practice it so that uh, you, you will be very confident uh, on drawing both using a pencil paper as well as drawing on a computer program and uh, uh, I will be I will be giving this demonstration which will cover various features like uh, dimensioning this drawing these lines drawing inclined lines drawing circles and how do you dimension uh, circles and then uh, preparing a title block and then preparing a, a title and to make uh, borders and finally to take uh, a printout so that uh, these drawings can be filed properly so th this is the the end uh, end of our uh, demonstration now uh, let us start from uh, scratch when you open uh, AutoCAD, this will be the uh, window which will be coming up. And uh, just like any other software, you can go to File and select New. And it would ask a template and you can just give the, the default setting as Open. And uh, right now you can see a blank screen. Uh, this is the uh, drawing area. This blank, entire blank screen is the uh, drawing area, which is more or less similar to a paper. And at the top we have a menu bar and it has a lot of menus and each menu has some various sub menus and even those sub menus have some other options and there are a lot of options in AutoCAD and we will be covering some important options and uh, followed by your uh, title bar as well as menu bar you can find some uh, set of uh, uh, buttons which is uh, very focused on AutoCAD. So now let me put my cursor over this button and it will uh, give us an idea what it does. So this menu will help us to change the color and this menu would type uh, help us to change the type of line. For example we could add a dashed line center line and such others and this would give us the control over the line weight uh, for example when we are uh, drawing your engineering graphic sheets uh, we would be insisting you to draw lines of various thickness you have to draw it using hp pencil you have to draw it using 2 h pencil this line has to be light and other and the other line has to be thick so such control can be made through this uh, menu and uh, over the left side we, we can find uh, some set of buttons and let me hover over so this is this will give you a line and to draw polygon rectangle arc circle and we have numerous options here and you can observe that all these buttons the buttons which are present on the left side they they tend to create uh, new features or new parts and uh, over the right side now let's come to the right side and over the right side you can find some other set of buttons and here you can see these buttons erase copy mirror offset array and all these options they are focused on modifying the drawing so these left side uh, buttons they tend to create some features 
whereas the options present in the right side they tend to modify the created features and you can also note that at the uh, menu bar we have an option called draw so if you get into this draw you can find all those options which are already present here so you can find a line you can find a polyline you can find a polygon rectangle arc circle and all those options are uh, they are also present here so it is up to you to uh, select you may you can select the line option from this toolbox or you can get to, into this menu bar and you can get select this line it is up to us and the same thing with uh, this modify commands also you can find all those commands uh, they, they will be arranged here this erase copy mirror option and all those commands whichever you find here you can also find it within this menu bar now now coming coming to the bottom here we have a, a command line and you can notice that this command line will record whichever operation which we perform here uh, for example now let us assume i click this line button then immediately this command line will ask us question specify the first point specify the second point in, in case now let us assume that i click the circle then immediately this command line will ask specify the center point of the circle so we have to always make note of this command line so that we, we will we will be aware of things which is going on here and you can press escape to come out of a command once you press escape here you can then you can see that the cancel is being turned on so now now let, let me repeat which i covered shortly you have uh, some set of uh, options in the menu bar and then we have some set of control over the line that is the line color the line type and the line weight and then the some important uh, buttons which is present in this menu bar they are kept on this uh, toolbox the left side toolbox will be uh, classified as the draw tools and the right side will be classified as uh, modify tools and down at the bottom we have this uh, command button this command button will give us uh, what's going on and if it is if there is a requirement so that we have to give some sort of input such input will be uh, fed by us through this command line and now again at, at the extreme bottom you can find uh, three numbers here you can see 649 and 12 point something and 0 point something something and you must have guessed it correctly now uh, this is nothing but the coordinates now as i move my cursor you can notice this uh, left to bottom those numbers would uh, be changing uh, dynamically and now uh, uh, from this we can infer that this entire screen is very much similar to a graph sheet uh, you must all be aware of uh, a graph sheet you must have done uh, various exercises in graph sheet in your uh, school days so uh, and uh, this number you can see this is a uh, pretty large these numbers are pretty large and and whenever we have to draw make a drawing we must make sure that uh, these uh, limits which is this uh, x this first number will indicate the x axis the second number the y axis and the third one is the z axis and since we are uh, doing in a, a two dimensional plane this z axis is made constant that is zero and our focus will be on this x as well as uh, y now we can note that both these numbers are around the range of 3000 and 1500 let us let us bring it down we have to bring it down so that our drawing will be within our scope so to ensure this first the first command we have to give is uh, limits l i m i t yes so once you type limits and hit enter then this command line will ask us which is the uh, lower left corner and it is uh, suggesting us a default value 0 comma 0 so i can just hit enter as it is and now it is asking this uh, upper right corner and this is the default value uh, for an uh, a3 paper size but let us stick on to a4 paper size so since we are going for a4 paper size i am uh, typing the dimensions of an a4 paper size that is 210 comma 297 so now i have changed the limit but i will move my cursor once again 
but still you can see that uh, the the coordinates here show around 3600 to 1500 there has there has been any change uh, in this view so to change uh, the view in which here we view is we have to go for the zoom command i'm going to zoom and i have to type all zoom all so once i type in zoom it will ask us which window do you want to zoom and we have to uh, specify all so <coughs> Now you can notice that whenever I wherever I move my cursor, then the dimension will be overall it will be within 350 or 320. That is because now our uh, total drawing has come into a small focused region, which is the size of an A4 sheet. Though we are doing these operations, you, you, you will not find any change here. The entire screen will re remain black over the entire time. But, but you, you have to be sure that uh, there is significant difference in this uh, x-axis and y-axis coordinates. Fine. And uh, after uh, this uh, coordinates, we have some uh, set of buttons. These buttons play a very important role whenever we are making a drawing. And uh, play, please pay attention to this button called ortho polar. O snap that is object snap and old track that is object snap tracking. These four buttons are very important. They, they are very important and whenever I make a drawing, I will give you its uh, importance. And uh, these drawings, these buttons uh, make AutoCAD special. With these three or four buttons, uh, AutoCAD has become one of the most preferred software in uh, industry for 2D drafting. And uh, when I explain, you will know why. Fine. Now let's get started with our uh, first drawing. And uh, this is the first drawing which we are going to draw right now. And the, the, the procedure, uh, the, the best practice is to uh, start with the borders. So let's first uh, make the borders. So to draw the borders, I'm uh, clicking this uh, line button. This is one method to start drawing a line. Else you can go to draw and you can click this uh, line option. This is another method. And you can come into the command box and type line, L-I-N-E. Uh, and now I will use this command mode. I am typing line and I'm hitting enter. And now you can see that uh, this command is asking me for the first point. Now I, I, I can press uh, anywhere over the screen. I'm pressing anywhere over the screen. And now you can see that uh, this command prompt is asking me to specify the next point. Now my objective is to draw this uh, border for this drawing. So this distance i'm now i'm uh, focused on drawing this uh, horizontal line which is present at the lowermost side of the page now this side has to be of uh, a 210 mm so i have to move my cursor but and you have to notice that uh, this line is not uh, exactly zero degrees so to ensure that i draw a line exactly zero degrees i have to turn on ortho mode now ortho mode is turned on. Now you can notice that even though I move my cursor up or down, my line doesn't move. The line sticks on to zero degree. And if I move, if at all I move my cursor to the other extreme end, it comes to 90 degree. So now I, I, I couldn't uh, draw the line anywhere else between zero degree and 90 degree. This is, this is what uh, ortho does. The purpose of ortho is to ensure that that line you draw is either 0 degree or 180 degree, sorry, 90 degree or again 180 degree or 270 degrees. So it, it covers only these four uh, angles. So now, now our objective is to draw this horizontal line. So I am moving my uh, cursor to the side which I wish to draw the line and I type the dimension 2, 1, 0 and I press enter. So after I press enter, you can notice that this line, horizontal line is being created. And now I wish to draw the other side of the border. So I am moving my cursor over the top. And the other dimension of 
a4 sheet is a 297 millimeters and I'm hitting that hitting enter then I'm coming back to the other side I am typing 210 and now I am coming back to the last side so I am typing moving my cursor to the relevant position I am typing 297 it has come back here but still AutoCAD doesn't know that I have completed my side so AutoCAD keeps on asking me specify the next point specify the next point so now we have to convey AutoCAD that our object is uh, over so we have to press escape so now we have drawn this outer uh, border now let's uh, go ahead with uh, the title block and uh, it is our usual practice to put the title block on the lower right corner now i will uh, tell you how to start up with this uh, title block so first you can click uh, you, can, you can also type uh, line in the command mode or you can click now let me click here so once i click the cursor changes now you have to make sure that this this title block is of is some uh, standard uh, distance so so what we should do is we should uh, put our cursor here and we must not click it so once we touch this point you can notice a small orange plus coming over there that orange plus will ensure that the starting point which we give from this point we are starting we have to start our drawing in this direction for some 120 millimeters so this starting point is marked by referring this point this can be enabled by using this object trap and object snap only if these two buttons are enabled then we could do this operation now i am starting from this 120 mm and the height of my title block is around 40 mm and i am coming it up to this point so you can notice that if I, if i bring this uh, automatically a plus mark comes and the line will automatically join on this point once i have completed my title block i can press this escape key so i have drawn this uh, title box and uh, uh, just like any other software you can uh, scroll your mouse button you can scroll in and scroll out which would uh, zoom in and zoom out the entire window and you can press the middle mouse button you can press the middle mouse button and move it so that the screen will move this is called a panning option pan pan you have to press the middle mouse button and move so pan you can scroll the middle mouse button to zoom in and zoom out and now uh, now i have created my uh, title block and now i need to create a partition at the center so to create this partition uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw a new line and this uh, partition line this partition line must be exactly at this midpoint so you, you can move your cursor towards the line then suddenly at some point you will get a triangular symbol this triangle symbol will indicate that this is the midpoint of that uh, line now i will uh, click here once and i would move here at this other end i will get a square which means that this line is joining here in a perpendicular manner this line is exactly zero degree since uh, the ortho mode is turned on I, I am very sure that this line is exactly parallel so I click here once and this process is over so I press escape and now the uh, the title block is over now let's start uh, uh, writing our uh, name register number and our section inside now uh, to draw text or to bring in text we need to uh, get into draw text and select multi line text once you get into multi line text then this command window will ask you to select the first corner and then you need to select the opposite corner then that this text formatting box window will open and here you could change various the formatting options for your text and the best practice i would uh, suggest you is to select uh, verdana font set the font size 7 mm and you have to center this along both the sides 
then you could uh, type in your name here and hit ok and now to bring in your uh, uh, roll number you have to uh, repeat the same procedure get into draw and select uh, multi line text and I'm just repeating the uh, same procedure I'm hitting one, one end and hitting the other end and I'm changing the font to Vadana in the size 7 I am aligning it to center along the x-axis as well as y axis and I'm typing my roll number something and your slot whichever slot you belong to fine now you, you can see that your name and roll number is aligned uh, centrally fine now let's get to the main topic that is we are going to focus on the uh, the drawing and uh, please take note of the various uh, dimensions and uh, this drawing it is uh, advisable to start from anywhere you can start from anywhere and you can end anywhere so that you will get this closed uh, shape this is some sort of uh, uh, shape some irregular polygon and uh, uh, i prefer i prefer to start at this point at this point i would go ahead go up for 50 mm and then uh, 40 mm along this uh, right side then up 25 then 40 to the left 40 to the right 40 to the down and this dimension would be 60 mm and then uh, come down uh, 25 and we will we have to draw a line which is at 120 degree to the horizontal that would be of uh, 60 mm length and then followed by another uh, horizontal line towards the left for 70 mm and then these two edges can be joined once we complete this sketch we can go for uh, dimensioning and that would be the end of this drawing so now let's get started i'm uh, getting to draw a line and i'm i'm first marking this uh, center point I'm marking this center point and i'm moving my cursor to the upward direction and now i'm giving my input dimension which is 50 mm and i hit enter and now I can, 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 can move my cursor anywhere. Since ortho mode is turned on, the dimensions, uh, the line move strictly either in 0, 90, 180 or 270. Now I'll, I'll give you a demonstration when ortho mode is turned off. You can see this ortho mode is turned off. Now you can see that this line will be moving in any angle. 17 degree, 21, 30, 31, 108, 160, any, 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 any dimension it will be moving and uh, this uh, mode is not advisable it is not advisable to draw uh, with this mode whenever you draw a line you have to make sure that you, you draw a line at any specific uh, angle and uh, when uh, when we come to this region i will tell you how to draw a line at, uh, at a particular inclination now let's stick on to ortho mode now let's stick on to ortho mode and now uh, along this direction the length is 40 and now I have to take it up move the cursor somewhere somewhere it, it, it is our choice you have to move your cursor somewhere up for 25 mm and then move it uh, to the right for uh, 40 mm and then move it uh, down for another 40 mm and now we have to move it for uh, 60 mm since th though this dimension is not given we can calculate it uh, since this total dimension is 100 and this dimension is 40 so this dimension must be 60 so i am moving it this in direction and giving 60 and now i have to move it down for uh, 25 mm so till this i think it would have been very easy for you all and uh, now we have to uh, draw an inclined line that is it must uh, we have to make sure that ortho mode is turned off now we have to turn off ortho mode and and when when you when you look here you can notice that the angle which we require to bring in is 60 degree and whenever whenever creo however this autocad software will work on 
this angle based on this horizontal line so you have to make sure that you give a value for this angle so to make sure that you give the angle value you have to press this less than symbol followed by this degree so now i am giving this value as 60 degree because this dimension is 120 degree but our autocad software will always work on this direction that is counter clockwise direction and always this will be the reference line always this will be the reference line and we will be going in this counter clockwise direction and it is very much similar how you use your uh, protractor so that is how we have to mention our angle so i am mentioning my angle as 60 degree so once i set the 60 degree you can make sure that this line either follows it would go up 60 degree or it would come in this uh, opposite direction minus 60 degree so in this direction i am giving the length as 60 so now we have drawn this inclined line and now we have to again proceed back to uh, horizontal line so let us set it back to ortho mode and now you can notice that uh, we don't have that such sort of a flexibility since the ortho mode is uh, turned on now i am back in ortho mode i am setting this angle as 70 now, now our objective is just to join these two lines since we are joining these two lines it doesn't matter whether ortho mode is turned on or off once you move your cursor here you will get a square symbol which means that this point will be fixed and now you can press escape this is how uh, you complete the sketch it is uh, very simple and now uh, let's get to the dimensioning and and one point uh, before dimensioning you have to make sure that this line is uh, pretty thick when compared to your uh, dimension line so you have to select all those uh, lines here so to select all those lines click somewhere here uh, move the cursor and click again so all those lines should be selected and now we have to select a suitable line thickness 0.8 mm will give a relatively good thickness select 0.8 mm and press escape now though, though you, you may not notice any changes here when you take a final printout i am sure that this line will be thick when compared to the other lines okay now let's get to dimensioning so to, to to dimension you have to you can find a specific menu called a dimension menu and it has various options and the first step which is you have to do is you have to get into dimension style and uh, we will get a window called a dimension style manager and these uh, default settings has to be modified so you have to click modify and this uh, modify window will open and this window will have many tabs this window uh, let us start from the first here we have the dimension uh, the settings related to the lines and uh, let us leave it as it is let us not uh, disturb the line settings let's get to symbols and arrows and uh, when, when when you speak of arrows i think you must all be relevant that uh, most of your uh, faculty would have told you to draw a closed arrow and it must be of 3 to 1 ratio i remember if you remember it and those settings are set here by default though there are many different types of arrows available there are many different arrows available closed to blank dot architectural tick and there are many other symbols available these will be used by various engineering applications in architecture in electronics civil drawings and so on now let's just stick on to this uh, closed field arrow head and this arrow size of 2.5 is very small so let's increase it to 6 and then let's move to the uh, text part and here also you could find the text style here let's change the text font by clicking this button we can get into this text style and let's again put it to Vardana, which is our standard font press apply and close now we have changed the font and again when we come to text size let us have it something something around six seven eight would look neat on an a4 sheet press it seven and uh, when it comes to fit you can leave it as it is no need to change any default settings and primary unit is somewhat uh, important one 
here this uh, decimal separator for example this 46.49 what this default settings in autocad is that it would uh, a comma but we need to change it to period that is a, a dot so that we will get uh, 46.5 46.7 such uh, uh, decimal separator would be used by us and once we modify all these decisions uh, we can uh, give okay and then we can give close now let's get to martha dimension the first dimension which we will look into is this uh, linear dimension get into linear dimension and it would ask us which is the first point and let us this way this is the first point and it is asking the second point and this is the second point and uh, you can move this uh, dimension line and place it as uh, as per our convenient and the best practice is is to have this 10 mm from this point so you can move the the direction you can type 10 and hit enter this will give make this uh, distance uh, a uniform one and this uh, dimension 50 mm is complete now i will draw the uh, the next dimension the the procedure is more or less the same I'm giving here 25 and i'm giving this distance as 10 and for for convenient purpose when dimensioning it is good to zoom in and zoom out that will give you a clear idea on uh, where you select or where you click so you have to zoom in and zoom out whenever uh, required now i will draw the other uh, horizontal dimensions i will zoom in i would uh, select this point and i would uh, select this point so you, you can notice that if, if, uh, when i am selecting these two points either this dimension will move in this direction or this direction so it is our responsibility to, to check which dimension we need to mark and uh, click appropriately and i'm drawing this for another uh, 10 mm in the next dimension again 40 mm dimension and to click here i'm clicking here and uh, if i click at this node if i bring it here then it would get snapped here so that the, it looks neat this is how we expect you to draw in your uh, drawing sheets also some dimensions if those are all lying on the same line then it would look neat then then this uh, last day uh, this uh, larger dimension from this point to this point somewhere uh, above here and this uh, this height has to be marked i will move it move in close here 10 mm and this uh, slot height dimension linear dimension twenty five fine so now to, to, to draw to mark this uh, inclined dimension now now let us try with this uh, linear dimension let's see what happens if you select this linear dimension I am selecting this point and I am selecting this other point see I am getting this dimension that is fifty one point something and this is thirty but what we require is this this uh, slant height that is a 60 mm but with this dimension we could not uh, bring that so there is if, if you if you make something uh, wrong like this there is nothing to worry you just click it you have to select this uh, dimension press delete key it will just vanish so if, if you make any mistakes then there is nothing to worry you can select it delete it and then you can easily resume now coming back to our uh, problem to mark this dimension 60 mm you have to select the aligned uh, dimension so once you select this aligned dimension let's see what happens you can notice that this dimension aligned dimension would uh, come and as a best practice it is always good to keep the dimension uh, out of the drawing unless otherwise it is very difficult it is uh, a good practice to keep all the dimensions out of the drawing so i would put it somewhere and then i need to draw the last dimension that is uh, 70 mm i will zoom in here click it here and this is 70 mm is coming and now the last pending uh, dimension here is this uh, angle and you must have noticed it already that uh, within this uh, dimension menu you can find this uh, angular dimension 
and selecting this angular dimension and it would ask us to select an arc line or circle. Now here our case we have to draw the dimension between the two lines. I am selecting the first line and I am selecting the second line and it is asking me where to place the dimension. I, I, I can move it anywhere. I can move my line anywhere and uh, I, I find this part to be uh, pretty neat. Fine. Now we have completed this uh, uh, drawing and uh, the last one pending is to have this uh, title. To have this title, let's get back to uh, draw text and uh, multi-line text. I yeah, can select the start point and select the end point somewhere here and uh, put the title height around 8. I have to align it to the center and type uh, drawing 1 and press. Okay. Fine. Now the drawing activity which we need to do within AutoCAD is uh, over. Now let's take uh, uh, the demonstration on how to take a printout. So to take a printout you need to go to uh, file and you have to go to plot or you can press ctrl plus p that is a shortcut uh, we, you must be aware of it it is the same shortcut which is in other uh, word processing software you have to select a plot this uh, plot window will open and here you have to select the printer which we are going to plot since now we are not concerned of taking a printout now let us create a pdf file so microsoft to print to pdf so we would generate a, a pdf file and uh, the paper size is uh, A4. As you remember, when we started our drawing, we selected the dimensions as uh, 210 cross 297. So it has to be of A4 size. And now this is very important. It is asking us uh, which area do you want to plot and you have to select a uh, window. And now again it ask which uh, window. The window, this is the starting point and this is the ending point. I want to print everything within this window. I selected it and I have to center the plot and I'll select the preview and that's it. So once you, you give this uh, print plot button, it would ask you where do you want to uh, save this drawing. You can put it anywhere in your uh, in your hard drive. You can uh, type as a relevant name, test one and save. That's it. Your drawing is created. Now let's get uh, started with the second drawing. The compared to the first drawing, the second drawing is uh, focused more on uh, circles. And since we are dealing with uh, circles, uh, they tend to be very interesting. Now to get started here, I, I will teach you some sort of a shortcut such that uh, you, need, you need not repeat the entire uh, process like drawing the title block, borders and such stuff. So now we, we can uh, duplicate this drawing to another copy here. To, the, to duplicate that we have to make a copy. So you can notice this button uh, copy. You, know, you can uh, press it copy. And here it asks uh, select objects. Now let me select uh, all the objects here. I have selected the entire drawing along with the drawing which is present here. We can delete it later. I have selected all the drawing and I press enter now it is asking me a base point the point which i which wish to select it as a base and uh, any point can be selected and for convenience i would select this left to bottom point i have selected it and it is asking me where do you want to move this uh, drawing i am moving it somewhere uh, this side somewhere convenient and i okay. and now it is asking me to move this drawing again so i have made a one copy that is sufficient so i press escape so finally now i have uh, made another copy and uh, I, I need to delete uh, the previously drawn drawing so i am uh, selecting all those uh, drawings and i press uh, delete and uh, i can just modify this uh, title i can double click drawing one and put my cursor over here backspace uh, put my drawing to and select okay so within a matter of seconds we could uh, make multiple copies if 
fine now let's uh, get started and uh, if, if you closely look at this drawing we have uh, an uh, outer circle whose uh, radius is 30 and uh, some common mistakes a student commit is that here you must notice that this radius is 30 whereas here you must notice that the diameter is 30 you must not assume that they though they have the same value 30 that doesn't mean that it means the same okay the radius is 30 whereas here the diameter is 30 and the same at the bottom end here the radius is uh, 21 whereas the uh, inside uh, whole diameter is uh, 20 and at this end we have a curve uh, it, it resembles a, a quarter circle and we will do this using fillet command and that is a, an interesting command i will uh, give you a demonstration and this other dimension i think uh, you are uh, well uh, confident of it fine let's get started now uh, I, I would draw this uh, radius 30 circle first so that uh, we, we will uh, keep that as a reference since this is the reference for many dimensions with this reference we can draw this circle as 30 and this dimension 60 many many references are taken from here so it is advisable to start with this uh, 30. so to draw this uh, circle you can uh, click this uh, uh, circle icon present here and it would ask us to specify the center point for the circle and we could put, put that center point somewhere in our drawing this point would be allowed and as i move my cursor the circle would come up appropriately and it would ask us to uh, here you can notice that to specify the radius of the circle so here i am specifying the radius as 30. i have drawn the first circle now uh, uh, let's draw the circle like the uh, its side end and you must notice that both these circles have the same center that is these two circles are concentric to each other now let's uh, see how we make that happen now uh, you can notice that once i touch the circle automatically uh, center uh, marks here so uh, i i need not uh, search for its center or i need not do it randomly once I touch this circle, then automatically this circle's center is being marked. So I can mark it here and I can ensure that this is exactly the, the center. And since here the, the radius uh, has to be 15, since diameter is 30, the radius is 15 and 10. And now the next thing I wish to draw is this. Uh, the smaller circle whose diameter is uh, 10 that is its radius is uh, 5 and the center of the circle lies in a straight line at a distance of 30 mm from the top of the circle now uh, i would uh, proceed this now let's draw the uh, surrounding region and you must notice that here since this is uh, exactly a semicircle and this line this these two lines must be tangential to this circle so now let's take uh, how it goes let us get into a line command and one, one, once i move my cursor over the circle you could get some sort of uh, two inverted triangles but when i come to this point then automatically i get a point called a quadrant which which will give us exactly the the point which is lies along its uh, center line so i can uh, draw a line on this quadrant and we know that this that distance uh, is uh, 60 mm it is given here that is uh, 60 mm so i am drawing that line for uh, 60 mm and i have to repeat the same procedure to draw the same line on the on the other side i'm moving my cursor somewhere here and bring it down that distance is 60 mm. And now you must notice that uh, this bottom half, this point has to be uh, deleted. But if, if you would select this and delete it, then this entire circle will be deleted. But our requirement is that we need to select the uh, delete only this bottom part. So in order to delete this bottom part, we need to get into a trim command. Trim. So I will go to this TRI. Yeah trim and it would ask which objects do you want to trim and my our focus is here so i would select these components and select 
enter and now it asks us which region do you want to trim and i want to trim this section once uh, our required section is trimmed then you can hit uh, escape no now uh, the the top half is uh, ready now let's uh, focus on this uh, bottom half so to uh, focus on this bottom half let's draw this uh, diaten circle so to draw this uh, diaten circle let us click this uh, circle and this circle is at a distance of uh, 30 mm from the stop so i would select this reference i am not clicking it i am just putting my mouse over there and i am bringing it down and uh, now if i type 30 and press enter then this center point will be located exactly 30 mm from that uh, circle i have marked the center point now the diameter is 10 so hence the radius is 5 done so this circle is done now with this circle center as a reference i can draw these two circles here i can draw these two circles here and i am more or less repeating the uh, previous procedure i am creating a circle uh, i am selecting this as a reference and i am moving down so at a distance of 60 mm like this this at a distance of 60 mm i am drawing to draw this circle whose radius is uh, 21 So at a distance of, I have to make sure it falls here. Keep my mouse over it and press uh, enter. And now the radius is uh, 21. Fine. So I have drawn this uh, outer circle for radius 21. Now it's time to draw this inner circle of diameter uh, 20 mm. And if I, as soon as I touch the circle, the center automatically picks up. I select the circle. and i select its uh, radius that is 10 mm fine now now the, the remaining part is just to uh, make up this uh, joint and that joint i would uh, we have we have already seen that i am getting into a line and if i move here i would get this quadrant point and i move it down i have to move down but i may make sure that it, it goes past this point so that we can join this and then we can uh, trim off the unwanted portions and i am repeating the same procedure for the other side I'm clicking this line i am going this somewhere beyond it and i'm coming out so now you, you you can notice that if if you have to join these two portions and we can trim off this uh, unwanted region and to, i'll start here and i'll click here and edit i press escape and i would repeat the same procedure i would start here and click it here and press escape so now you can notice that these edges can be trimmed off and this edge has to be trimmed so now let get into trim command t r i trim command and it is asking us which objects well, maybe we can select all these objects and press enter now the unwanted edges one this is unwanted edge it's an unwanted edge and this is an unwanted edge fine now press escape so we are down down to the uh, last step which is this uh, radius and uh, though it, it might seem very complicated how do you locate the center of this uh, radius then you need not worry about those stuff you can just look into this button which is called as fillet this is a very interesting feature Or you have to press uh, fillet once you press fillet it will ask us to select the first object but you have to ensure that this radius is set as 9 but if here you can notice that this radius is set as 0 by default so you have to change the radius to the required value first so first press r hit enter then it would ask us to specify the fillet radius the fillet radius is 9 now you have to press select the first object and select the second object that's it now re repeat the same procedure repeat the same procedure get into fillet and now you can notice that this radius is already set to 9 since we set it in the previous operation and you can directly select the first object second object that's it uh, our drawing is over and we are left just to mark the dimensions here and uh, to mark the uh, the dimensions 
and we have already set the dimension style so we need not set this dimension style again see all these uh, uh, these settings they carry over all these dimensions are uh, intact so let us not focus on the dimension style and now we can start with the the linear dimension we can mark this uh, dimension let's mark this uh, first dimension that is uh, uh, 30 mm and now again we have to repeat the same to mark the dimension of this center to the center of this circle and it has to be aligned with this center so let's click here and the last uh, one more linear dimension is this side between these uh, this corner and the center of the circle and dimension a linear dimension here and uh, this point and well, let's put it somewhere here right and now we have to mark the the radial dimension and the good practice is that uh, whenever you have a full circle we have to mark its uh, diameter and whenever we have a, a semicircle or a quarter circle you have to mark its radius that is the best practice now let's mark the three circles i'll give it into dimension and select a diameter and i have to select the circle i can uh, move the dimension to a convenient position and click it over here it's very very simple the dimension select a diameter and i can move it somewhere here and it, you make sure that you, you don't uh, have this sub, sort of overlapping as far as possible it is good to avoid uh, overlapping so under unavoidable scenario you can uh, put this dimension within the drawing also and the last one pending and to select uh, a dimension diameter this is uh, uh, 20 above and now we have to mark the, the radial dimension we have three radial dimensions <coughs> select the dimension radius this is uh, it is you can position it here and this uh, radial dimension it can be positioned here and we have uh, the last radial dimension this can be positioned here and uh, now before taking this uh, the printout we need to ensure that uh, we have uh, left out this uh, line weight we have to increase the thickness of this uh, region so you can just keep on uh, selecting the curves you can select all those curves and select all the the, the important uh, curves and get into the line layer and select the 0.8 mm that's it now let's get to print i'm giving the shortcut control p i'm selecting this printer as microsoft print to pdf the default paper size is a4 and i'm selecting the window uh, the window which i wait to plot is this selected it center the plot so preview that's it the drawing which we need to draw is very clear and you can press this uh, print and you can save the drawing it's a test too and our drawings are saved without any error and uh, thank you everyone and uh, there is a lot more to AutoCAD what we have uh, given here is a very brief uh, demonstration there are many more tools to explore there are many more techniques and I hope uh, this the short introduction will, will give you some interest to proceed further. And I wish you all the best. Thank you. Bye.